Hello guys, welcome to the last vlog of Vlogvember. This is insane guys, I cannot believe this. Obviously we have the live stream tomorrow, it's the last sort of Vlogvember, but this is the last vlog from Vlogvember. Hello. Hello, I forgot to give you a, a, a Pepsi Max. Oh, that's all right, <laughs> that doesn't matter. It's very quiet here without you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love you lot. Love Thank you too. Journey. Thank you. Bye, honey. Bye. 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 Uh, she's so funny, the things she worries about. That hadn't even crossed my mind that she hadn't sent me home with a Pepsi Max, but she obviously worries about it. The funny thing is, guys, most times where I've driven home, I won't have left home for five minutes and mum will be calling <laughs> to tell me something she forgot to tell me or... And it's never important. It's never, like, the most groundbreaking thing ever. It, it's very cute. It's always something that's like, oh, it's, it's obviously been weighing on her mind, like the Pepsi Max. <laughs> I do love spending time with my family and I do get sad when I leave but I think this week because I've got a very busy week uh, well actually the whole of December now is going to be so busy so I'm just like let's crack on I know I'm going home for Christmas I think around the 21st of December so I've got just under a month to just go and get everything done it's going to be a lot of travel a lot of back and forth now I'm going to Keegan's this Friday that will be just over two weeks since I'll have been up north. More than two weeks, I think about 18 days or something of without going up north, which is probably the longest ever. From this weekend coming, I'll be up there probably every weekend until Christmas now. And he's coming down to London, I think, on one of the days we're traveling down together. So yeah, it's just a lot of back and forth for December, but Christmas is busy for everyone, isn't it? That's the thing. Whenever I get woe is me about, oh, but I'm so busy and da 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 da, I'm like, yeah, so is everyone, Joel. Like, everyone's busy this time of year. So I'd just like to give myself a slap around the face whenever I think that. Anyway, I'm on my way back to London. It is 20 past 10. I've got a call with a dentist at 2 p.m. Just a call, a chat. And then I've also got to walk Ava. I've got to go to the grocery store. I want to go to the gym. I've got to edit today's video. So I've got a few little bits and bobs. And I, I think Lucy's get, got the ladder yesterday from her dad. So I think today we can also decorate for Christmas. So it's going to be a very busy day today. It's my favorite kind of day, getting sorted, getting organized, uh, and getting Christmassy. Christmas round two. Right, guys, we are back. Just got Ava out of the car. I've got, obviously, my bag of clothes and things and then a few little items got some old christmas decks mum doesn't want some red cups that i bought from america back in like 2014 <laughs> i thought i need to use them that was back when i'd not been to america before so i was like oh my gosh red cups when you're traveling as much as i am you get used to i've got two backpacks on a dog a coffee some other bags in my hand you just get used to managing one of my Christmas presents that I've ordered for Keegan has arrived, but I'm not gonna show you. It's in a nice big box, but I will open that. Um, I've also got some Christmas cards. <gasps> oh, wedding invitation it's from my cousin. Well, I knew it was from my cousin. I think I've got quite a lot of weddings to go to next year. Next year is like the year of the wedding. You know my new friend Cherry, who I went to see during Vlogvember, she sent me a Christmas card. So cute. Oh my gosh, and it comes with a recipe. Like, I'll hide the message, but the Christmas card, has a Christmas pudding recipe and it's got a Christmas pudding on the front. That is so cute. Oh, look at that little tag. Oh, very cute. Well, Cherry, this is my first Christmas card. I took a Christmas card to Cherry and she was like, oh my gosh, you're so organized. This is my first Christmas card and that was early November. <laughs> but Cherry is actually my first Christmas card. So I've started sending some. So that is my Christmas card to Lucy and we'll pop Cherry's just there. Right, let's see these garlands on here. I mean, it might scratch our paintwork, which is why mum didn't want it on hers. But let me just move all of this off and then we can see what it will look like. And yes, that needs a touch up. That was one of Lucy's candles, Lucy. If you're watching this. Oh, I think it's gonna look so good. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. So we do actually have some lights that we could put on them, but I don't know if I can be bothered right now, maybe tonight. But that looks so cute. Guys, my flowers from Keegan are doing so well. The lilies have finally opened. There's one or two left to open, but they're over a week old now. How old are these? So I got them on the 17th and it's currently the 28th. So they're, so they're coming up to two weeks old and they're still going strong. Very good. That's it, you get comfy while I unpack, okay? 
This is the candle that my mum got. Me one and her one, I'm gonna pop it on the fireplace. I might end up putting it on the table, but for right this second, I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> Obviously it won't stay there, but I don't know where to put it. It is a stunning day today, guys. It's lovely. I don't want to lose my space, but gotta go shopping. Lucy apparently has just left, so I thought she'd be working today, but she's got the day off. But she's meeting a friend in central London and she just left just as I was arriving, apparently. So um, I'm just gonna crack on with my jobs today. I, it's now 12 o'clock, so I'm gonna go get my grocery shop done, and then I might be able to squeeze in a walk with Ava before my call at two, and then I'm free to edit and gym. And then that should be it. I'm just waiting, because it's Monday. Normally I hear something from my manager on a Monday, but I haven't heard, but I, I assume there might be something today or later on this week for me to crack on with but anyway let's stop waffling Joel let's go guys the whole point of coming now rather than later was that I thought it'd be quieter but the car park's quite busy I thought this would look cute in my bedroom but I don't really need any do I it's just spending money for the sake of it about what, a year and a half ago. <gasps> they've got it oh my gosh I was about to say we bought Harry Potter mugs and they smashed I smashed Lucy's but they did have an L on it but maybe I'll get her that one because I mean they were personalized so I had a J she had an L it's exactly this design except this doesn't have a letter but maybe I'll get it for her because I did smash hers they do have this one but it is a Christmas one. I think I'll get her the other one. It's actually not too bad, guys. I thought, based on the car park, it'd be rammed, but it's not. It's nice and quiet. So I'm nearly done. I've just got a few more bits to get. I'm using this so I can already see how much I've spent, and it makes checkout a lot quicker. And I have a voucher to spend in here. All done, guys. Fantastic. Um, sorry I didn't vlog much in there. I just wanted to get around and get it done. It always feels so good, guys, doesn't it, once you've done your grocery shop. I always think I don't get enough because I eat the same things at the moment and because I'm trying to eat healthy and lose a bit of fat before Christmas. I'm not buying as much, and um, which is a good thing, but I end up going, have I got enough? Have I got enough food? I always worry I don't have enough, but I always do have enough. If you're new here and you don't know, I do members only videos. One of the tiers is a health is wealth tier where I talk about, you know, health and well-being and fitness and diet and nutrition and all these things. I don't tend to talk about it on this channel publicly anymore because I know some people get triggered by it. So that's a safe space where I can talk about calories, fat loss, muscle building, walking, exercise, yoga, wellness, whatever it is, uh, without upsetting anyone. So check that out if you're interested. Yes, I earned 80. 8p from that shop. My cash pot is now at £4.76. Guys, this isn't a spawn for Asda, but let me just say, for those of you in the UK, Asda have released their Asda Rewards app, where every time you go shopping, you scan and you get real money. You don't get like points in your cash pot. And I've only done, that's my fourth shop and already I've, I've racked up £4.76 to spend. So good. Next time I go shopping, I might actually use that £4.76 to knock it off, because you've only got 30 days, I think, to use the money that, you, that you've got, the vouchers, so that's the downside. But yeah, I'm loving it. Shopping done. Me and Ava are coming for a little walk now. Got to get this done, cram this in before my call. My call's in an hour's time. I'm gonna give Ava a bit of a shorter walk today, 45 minutes, and then have time to bath her, and then I can have my call. Come on. Look guys, this heron is hunting. Go catch a fish. It's seven minutes past two, I'm still waiting for these people to call me. Do you know what's annoying? Is that they send me reminders every day. For the last three days, it's been like, are you still attending? I have to click yes, attending. Are you still attending? Yes, still attending, like I said yesterday. This morning, like with two hours to go, it's like, are you still attending? Yes, I'm still attending, which I get because they get people wasting their time maybe or not turning up. But then at least show up on time. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It really annoys me. Normally, if someone's seven minutes late, I don't care that much, but seems as they've made such a huge faff about are you still attending, are you still attending, turn up on time. I don't have their number either, it's, I, I've got to wait for them to call me. Well it's 21 past 2 and I've texted them to be like, when, when are you calling me? So I think I'm just gonna sack them off and if they try to contact me I'll be like, no. <laughs> How am I supposed to trust you if you can't uh, even turn up to a meeting on time? Never forgive, never forget. Guys, the video has been edited and I've been to the gym 
and I'm just walking home. It was I've taken the long way home, so it's taken 40 minutes, but at least I'll have done all my steps. I've done a workout. I'm way under my calories today, so I'm, I'm buzzing. I'm on track. Just need to get home, and I can't wait for Lucy to come home, and then we can make our house all Christmassy. It's so miserable, guys. It's so cozy though, it's like, can't wait to get in, shut the door and not leave. I've just greeted Ava and she's cold. Her lips are cold. Oh, babe, but we're gonna have to start putting your jumper on when we leave the house. You cold. I can't feel how cold it is in here because I'm so hot from walking. I mean, you seem happy, your tail is wagging, so that's good. You're very cold. So in winter, I put a jumper on Ava after she's had a bath. She has a bath every day because she just jumps in all the mud. And I always get comments being like, why are you putting a jumper on her? She doesn't need a jumper. Ugh, you're one of those dog owners. She needs a jumper, okay? <laughs> I'm not one of those dog owners. And even if I was one of those dog owners, let dog owners dress their dogs how they want. But she gets cold and you wouldn't think it because she's got fur on her, like Fen. Keegan's dog gets cold, but you can expect that because he's a small, like, thin dog with short hair. But Ava gets freezing cold, especially after a bath in winter, even though she's in the house. So she has to wear a jumper. And I have been known, if you've been watching this, uh, this channel for a long time, to cover her in a blanket as well. So yeah, don't judge me for putting clothes on Ava. She needs it. I look forward to hearing back from you. Bye-bye. So guys, that appointment I was supposed to have, they finally called at about six o'clock. Four hours late, she was like, I'm so sorry, it got lost in the system, whatever. If you'd still like to chat, like, call me back. I'm torn. Part of me is like, no, I'm not, like, if I'm not trusting you. It was a dentist appointment. I'm like, I'm not trusting you with my teeth if you can't keep your appointments. But then the other part of me is like, Joel, mistakes happen. What do you guys think? Lucy's home, everybody. It's time to go in the loft. Are we ready? Putting our lives at risk. We are, for, for a bit of Christmas decks. Or for a bit of Christmas spirit. <laughs> a bit of Christmas spirit, Sorry. yeah. Ignore the yellow loft, guys. We are gonna repaint that. Mm. Uh, don't judge us, and the ladder marks on that wall. Mm. Just ignore. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close right, close. come right, on. Right, Ava, you going up, Pan? Come on, you need to go in the loft. Yep. In case you wanted to know, this is my loft. We don't have a lot up here. Just the Christmas decks, it's very dusty. Very gross, I think that's a door. We've got a door up here, which is a nice Victorian door anyway. Ready for this booty? Oh, it hurts the feet. Yes, it's ever so spiky underfoot. Right, we've got everything down guys. Christmas is here. Are we excited? Yeah, we're very excited, aren't we? We are, aren't we? Are you? Yeah, I am, aren't I? Come on. Come on. <laughs> right, come on, it's time to do this. Do we need a drinky poo while we're doing this or Christmas music or something? We should at the very, very least. Should I put it on YouTube or something on the TV? She keeps kissing Lucy's Ava. face. <laughs> she snug. loves Christmas. Hello. Oh. Are we under the mistletoe? Hello. Ava, are we under the mistletoe? Ah. <laughs> Look, she's lit. What? Ava's like, stop shouting. Right, should we maneuver her in position? Yeah, and then we can start out. decorating. Decorating? <gasps> right, we've had a malfunction. Danger. This is where we decide to put it, guys. It separates the, the living room from the dining room. We did think about putting it here, but it's just too narrow. So that's a blanket that used to be in my parents' caravan before they sold it, but we've never used it. Sorry, we thought it could Gary. be used as we a scooch. We love it. We love it, but it looks like snow. It does, so under the tree oh, it goes. Really. Christmas box. We never know. We don't, oh, we don't want to set fire to this box. That would be a travesty. Ooh, shorty with you. Oh, I think a viewer sent these the other year. Ava, it was the night before Christmas. <gasps> the wreath for the front door. Oh, that looks good, Lucy. I think it looks all right. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the acorns. They're so good. We bought those together, didn't we? They're fantastic. Yeah. What would you say to other than sexy future Santa? Sexy mermaid Santa. Yeah, what would you say to your favourite? Oh, I do like these. They're nice. The cars with the tree. What's yours? I got some little sprouts that I'm quite fond of. Oh yeah, you did. Oh, I like these bougie acorns. We went, we went acorn mad. So we've got some sort of like, Nicer acorns. 
that were on a garland and we got rid of them and hand threaded the loops individually. Well, because we saw it and we were like, we like the decorations, we don't want it on a garland, so we just, we DIY'd. We actually have a lot more than I remember. My Diet Coke can! Look guys, Diet Coke. Sexy Mermaid Santa, guys! Our favourite decoration! So he needs to go front and center. Yeah. So Lucy, I bought your present today. But right, you ready for your Christmas present? Yeah, it's a actual Christmas present. No, it's not a Christmas present, it's just Am a... Am I getting another present? Yeah, you are. <laughs> this isn't it, is it? Is this it? <laughs> Close your eyes, hold out your hands. Together. Firm. Okay, it's heavy. Heavy? Or even with the poop? Go on then. It's not personalised. Oh, oh it's yeah, we're looking for the L. What? So I went down the Asda aisle just in case they started yeah. selling them, and they sell the exact same one but without personalising. Okay. So I just thought that would have to make do. You told everyone what you did to my last one. I did, but do you want to? Well, I just said I broke this it. Is how you reenacted it? So it was up in a shelf, yeah. cupboard, and you said to me, "You <laughs> tried to get it down." Literally that happened for about five minutes it <laughs> fell <laughs> and I was like catching it I caught it and then dropped it again and then it smashed on the floor. It's so it's all yours I think we should that hasn't been through the dishwasher yet, so you Don't might want to wash it up. Then. Yeah Anyway pre Christmas present. Thank you. Welcome so sweet. I am. Um, Right I've got a new deck for this year. I got this from Edinburgh Barra. Edinburgh it's a sheep playing the bagpipes. Oh, How nice. cute is that? Right, sheep, where do we want to put you? Cute. Guys, there's no theme with this tree, even less even less so than my parents' one yesterday. We go for ugly chic. We love it. We love it. It's a bit bare, but it's funny how many decks it takes, doesn't it? Because I opened the box and I was like, there's so many, but the tree just swallows it all. We do have the, this wreath to put on our front door. Just need to find some, ooh, here's some ribbon. That might work. Right, last year this fell off a few times, so. You can shut the bow. It's me. You think something like that? Yeah, lovely. There we go, guys, so lovely. With our lovely knocker. Ava's had enough, she's having a nap. We've just put some fairy lights in there. Look, so nice. We've obviously got our little tiny trees from Bloom and Wild, one there and one there. I've put that little stocking that one of my subscribers made for Ava, just on Ava's door. Well guys, I can't believe that concludes the vlogs for Vlogvember. I can't believe it, I honestly can't believe it. it it's had periods of going very slowly for me, but then it's just zoomed by in this last couple of weeks. That is kind of it. I'm getting a zit, post vlogvember zit, which is great. The stress that this has caused me. I've actually really, really enjoyed it, guys, and I can't believe I made it through without missing a single upload. So thank you so, so much for joining me. That said, tomorrow is technically the last day of Vlogvember, but I'm going to be doing a live stream. It will be about 10 p.m. UK time, so I know that for some of you, you might not be free, which that's fine. You can watch it on playback, but if any of you can join me live, then that would be great. We'll have a little drink, a little toast, a little celebration. It will hopefully be very, very fun, so please join if you can. Yeah, I won't do a full goodbye now. I'll do a full goodbye tomorrow on the live stream. But yeah, thank you so, so much for tuning in and watching. I really, really appreciate it whether you've watched one or you've watched all of them. Like, it means the world to me. So thank you so, so much. I'm going to go now. If you enjoy, please subscribe. If you're not already, I post videos every single week. Not every single day anymore. Every single week. Bye, guys. I'm delirious. Bye.